Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of Playing for Sushi, Life and Football here in Japan. Um, we're sitting here with Tiny Eye Deers. That's right. The big nasty old lineman, Mr. Ian Park, the unicorn. Yeah, I'm, I'm the last one of the last ones, man. Yeah. I think so. I mean, yeah, yeah you are. You're, you're the only one, basically. Welcome here and just thank you, you know, thank you for your time. I, I appreciate you sitting down. Um, I hardly get to see you, but when I do, it's always a good time. And just to, just, to, just to get it out the way, right? This show is called Playing for Sushi. Okay. I know you love your sushi. Of course. I love my sushi. Yep, of course. In one sitting, what are the most plates you ever had of sushi? It was in 2020. Okay. Uh, me and uh, Kato Yuya. Mm -hmm. Tokyo Gas. Mm -hmm. He, uh, we went. Forget which which chain it was, which mm -hmm. which uh, restaurant it was, but put we both together. It was like 80, 80 plates together. So I mean, in the forties, maybe you had about forty. You say you say Yuya, Yuya, that little receiver. I mean, yeah, ate forty plates of sushi. I think so. Yeah, oh, okay. because wow. you know, it's uh, kind of like a there's a theme like people from Hawaii, like no matter the size, <laughs> like they can eat. You know what I mean? Even if they're this big or you know big small, so hey, that's we, how that's the impression I got. Food, so, man. Yeah, exactly. Have you been to Hawaii? I have. Yeah, maybe three, four times. Everything's so. delicious there. Come exactly. on, like how yeah. that, that's why we all love to eat. But yeah, you know, yeah. So you're going on. This is your fifth. Four. This is number four. Four. Yeah, okay. number four. Yep. You. Born, raised in Delaware, was it right? No, I, uh, I was born, born in Delaware. I was born in Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Yeah. Okay, okay so born Rhode in, Island. Born in Rhode Island. Uh, oh, when right. I was like baby, I moved to, to Pittsburgh and, and I was raised there. So until Well, that makes college, sense yeah. now. Dominated in high school. You go to Northwestern, right? Then you kind of take a different path than most kids who played at the Division One level. Mm -hmm. You took a step down and you yep. kind of went to Slippery Rock, right? Yep. Which is a Division Two. Yes. Division Two school. Right. Um. What kind of what, what was that like? A little bit of tough situation for you, or what, what was that transition like? Yeah. Um. You know, I was a two-year starter at Northwestern. Mm -hmm. I was going into my fifth year, mm -hmm. um, 2016, and in spring ball, I broke my foot. And it was a bad, it was a Liz Frank. Um, Ooh, so I've, I've had that. Yeah. yeah. So that sort of, it was in March maybe. Mm -hmm. And uh, that knocked me out for all the spring, all the all summer. The, yep. I couldn't and walk for five fired. months yep. maybe. I was on a scooter. Yeah, you same, know? same. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So that was the injury I had mm -hmm. training for my pro day. Yep. And so it seemed, I know exactly how you're going yeah. through So you go to Slippery Rock. You have, you, you, you don't let up a sack the whole season. Right. That's that's crazy. Originally, like I was looking, you know, can I is there any way I can go to like a different Division One school, mm -hmm. you know, transfer? But it's just not possible just because yeah. the D2 the, yeah, yeah, the rules were different. Yeah. D2 is just there is no clock. D2 and D3 football. There's no clock. It's only semesters. Oh, OK. So I graduated so, in eight yeah. semesters. So I had two remaining. So I chose I'm in a Division Two football back in Pennsylvania. It's mm -hmm. pretty strong. Um, so I contacted my high school coach and, and uh, he helped me find a, a couple of, uh, of programs. And nice. Slippery Rock was the choice because, you know, they had an O-line coach, Chris, uh, Chris Conrad, mm -hmm. played for the Steelers, big dude from Fresno State, like giant wow. man. Just the opportunity to learn from him. Mm -hmm. um, he sort of simplified the game for me mm -hmm. and I was able to have success that year and kind of get uh, you know where I wanted to go mm -hmm. from there. Okay, and then from there you you had a little stint. Yep. With Eagles. The Eagles. Yep. Coming yeah, off yeah. of their Super Bowl. Super Bowl. That's right. It was a crazy year. In that meeting room with Jason Kelsey. Yep. Lane Johnson. Yep. Jason Peters. Jason Peters. Yeah, it was, it was like that's very that's cool. a insane. You know, and and with all the respect, right? You were an undrafted free agent right. going into that room. Mm -hmm. What like? You're one of the few guys, right, in the in the X League that kind of have a little bit of a taste in the mini camp and all those kind of like that room. That's an insane room to be in. What what was that like to to? Because I read that you were they were putting you at center, right? Yep. So you're sitting behind Jason Kelsey, learning from Jason mm -hmm. Kelsey. 
what what was that like and and has any of that information held on and helped you throughout your career here yeah um and it's funny because you know they when i got there in minicamp they put me at guard okay and then when training and then later on in the months the coming months like they moved me back to center so mm -hmm. it was kind of i wasn't sure where i was going to be but obviously i'll just play whatever they want yeah. me to play well a good old lineman right good old lineman can right. they're versatile right you yeah exactly like left, if you're yeah. if you're an inside guy you play all three, all three. there's like yeah. le there is no left guard and right guard nope. it's only guard guard exactly so yeah. you know, you're a center if you play center you should be able to play guard usually mm -hmm. that's how some you know that's how i was was taught you know the be the well, best that's, I, yeah i was in i mean i had an uncle who played for 13 years mm -hmm. and that's all i ever heard from him was right you need to be able to play wherever and I mm -hmm. mean yeah but yeah, he used to kick my butt yeah. up and down the yard man he'd I've met him I've met him he'd yeah. sit in the left his left hand stands his right hand stands he'd set like a tackle and I'm like yeah, that guy's that's a, a, that's a strong man right there <laughs> naturally yeah my uncle his my hands uncle is like <laughs> yeah my uncle is naturally strong but okay so just to rewind back to you now right you had injury kind of Injury bug bit you there, right? Mm -hmm. With the, the Eagles. Yep. And then you had an interesting choice. A lot of people probably don't know that you had a choice to make in that in that moment, right? You had an offer to play for an arena football team, right? Mm -hmm. You had reached out to what was then the Lixo Deers. Your choice. You had it to go either way. Where was the decision? What kind of what were the pros that made you choose? the deers over playing in arena you know i had an agent at the time mm -hmm. and spring was starting early spring and and he said to me this is really this is all i've got for you mm -hmm. um and you know there's a chance you know you could you play here you play well get back into a, a camp and you know cfl or nfl I had, I had asked him like hey i'm interested in playing overseas what do you mm -hmm. think about that and he was like no nah, no nah, you should do this mm -hmm. you know stay here I said, all right. So I actually joined. I, I went to the arena league, arena league. Oh, okay. Oh, um, okay. For one week. One week. All right. One week. I joined mm -hmm. Baltimore. It did not, I, I agreed to, to do that mm -hmm. and go to camp in arena league, and I, my heart wasn't in it. And so yeah. after a week, I said, I can't be here anymore. I said, I'm gonna try to go to Japan, and I just turned in my playbook, drove home. I had no, uh, you know, I hadn't talked to any team in Japan at that time. It was just, I'm going to go and, and, and wow. Wow, that's impressive. It, and I mean, like, I was kind of, as you came into the league, I was kind of the old man. And I, you know, I keep an eye on everybody, right? I kind of just watch how everybody operates. And I know, I know how hard and things can be sometimes. And, and so the decision to join Lixo, right? And you come in and you were, you were the first. But you were one of you, you, the there was a linebacker that came before right, right, you, right. but he was kind of on his own. He was here mm -hmm. teaching and then just kind of jumped in on the team yep. where you were that first batch, yeah. all four, right. And then Lixel, right. Loaded the, took all four spots that they could allot, right. To, to foreign players. So you were kind of like, in my eyes, the trailblazers, right. You were, you were starting to kind of really opened the door for a team that was traditionally against it right against you know when i first they were kajima deers mm -hmm. and i played them in my first year in the jxp and how do i say that but they were they were very just like we're gonna play with all japanese right. players proud to traditionally be. yeah and then and, and that and that is 100 percent i i admired and i thought they were they were really good like they were they were really yeah. a tough team you know you joined the Deers, you're the only one left from that group. Right. You know, and I, I know you, you've you gone through some challenges living here. Mm. Oh, what are some of the challenges that you've had to face living here? Well, I could I could talk about this for an hour, maybe. But oh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'll no, give I, you, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, trust me, I mean, I, I've heard it all. I've, I've yeah, experienced yeah, exactly, all that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I want I mean, you to just share it. Well, when I first got here, the size of everything, <laughs> rooms, yeah. you know, low, low ceilings, low doors. You start, the, wearing the your helmet, you start wearing your helmet around the house? Yeah, exactly. I hit my head so many times. Um, now I live in a little bit larger space, okay. so I don't hit my head as much. It still happens, though. The portion size of the food here, you know, I don't go to, I don't go to any restaurant that's like a normal 
restaurant. Like, you know, I, I see something. Oh, it's hey, like a whole I mean, you, yeah. you need that tabe whole dye that so, all yeah, you can exactly. eat. Yeah. You big boys got to eat. You yeah, guys got to exactly. keep it. Yeah, exactly. you guys got to. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm always, I'm always looking for, you know, low price, high volume of, of food. So that's kind of like I'm trying to eat as much as possible because, you know, <laughs> we're walking all the time, right? You know, in the yeah. States, we're driving everywhere, yeah. right? So here, like, you got to take the train, maybe walk a mile, and, you know, it's... it's it's Ooh. crazy how that became like normal, right? Right. Like, and you go back to the states and you start to feel like, damn, I'm yeah, lazy. You're like, you start to gain weight, like it's within just a like, week. Man, I don't. Speaking of quarterbacks, you play for probably one of the best. In my as long as I've been here, he's probably one of the better Japanese quarterbacks. Absolutely. To ever have played. Yeah. Your guys' quarterback Kato, your guys' receiver Maeda. At some point, they're gonna make a play, and that's gonna win the game. Maeda, who's I think he's. Going on 37, 36? Yeah, 37, yeah. I think 37 so. years old. Yeah. Don't look like it. Still running around like crazy. Yep. Terrorizing everybody just like I remember. Um, makes a crazy catch. Puts you in field goal range, mm -hmm. right? What's it like playing with that guy or having that guy back? Because he retired for a moment. Right. And he's back now. Right. How, how big has that been for your team? Um, he gave us that instant spark mm -hmm. as soon as he showed up. Um, cause I, in, in 2019, you know, he was great. Yeah, I love to protect, you know, protect for him. And, and, uh, I love, I love the guy. He's like one of my family members, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and when he, when he left, I don't know, he, he's, he has, he has a presence, you know what I'm saying? Some guys, oh, yeah. when they walk in yeah. the room, like yeah. he, you know what I mean? He likes to have fun and, you know, he likes to joke around, you know, when we practice stuff like that, but, um, we would work out together, you know, mm -hmm. he'd always be in the weight room, you know, cause we're, we're pro players. We would have access to facilities all the time, but he would be in there as much as we were. Oh, you know what I mean. And so it shows. Yeah. So yeah. he he truly loves the game and mm -hmm. he loves the grind. And uh, but just he's one of those guys that you want to protect. So when I'm around, I'm out there like I'm I'm gonna do everything I can. He's one of the few guys I I I loved competing against, but I hated competing against him <laughs> because I never knew I never knew if I was getting to him or not. Mm -hmm. Like I would hit him, sack him. I would never flinch. Yeah, I mean, what's, you know, how, how has it been learning from them? Now you're kind of in that, that middle tier, right? How is it kind of being in the middle of all of that with everything that your team has had to go through, right? You guys have had struggles with, with COVID. You've, you've had to go through sponsors changes. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what are some of the challenges keeping that team together? Because you guys are back in the super and you guys are doing well. Yeah, I mean, um, just we have not only just Kato san and, and Maeda san, we have a couple of other, you know, just guys from the old Kajima days. Mm -hmm. And they sort of, they're not as vocal as mm -hmm. you might expect, but the way that they work, you know, because they're kind of like, I'm here, you know, I'm, I'm playing, I'm, I'm a starter, whatever it might be, but they're sort of helping and mentoring the next generation mm -hmm. uh, of players um, because, you know, we are, we are a younger team now yeah. you know yeah. and that was something like when i arrived here in 2019 we everybody had either retired or mm -hmm. changed teams or, or something like that so we had a whole sort of new uh, a lot of new faces mm -hmm. um but just having them around um it inspires me you know mm -hmm. like my son son he had a knee injury uh in 2020 and he just he blew everything out it was yeah. completely yeah. destroyed he came back in the next year Yes. And, and won us the game against at 30, Densu. Like, yeah. like at 36 years old. I don't know how he does it. Like I'm hurting. I'm almost, I'm on my way to 30 years old, but like. He, Look, dude, dude you're still young. He, I don't know. In man. football? It's, yeah. I, I, but not, yeah. In Japanese I mean, football, I'm a young one. No, young. but like, no, I mean, like when I was 30, like when I went, like when I think about, right. And you joke, right. I'm almost 30. Like when I was at 30, I was still flying. I remember I went against you. I, I had, I had, a, we, we were, I think when I was 30 years old, I think that was when I had that, that six game, I had six uh, sacks in one 18, game. 18, 18, 18? No, it was mm, 18 or 19, 18, yeah. Yeah, I went yeah. against you. We had a, yeah, we had a joint older issue, yeah. yeah. I was like, damn. Like, <laughs> we had you and Fanica on one side. I was like, well, we just. Well, I knew <laughs> not to go near you. I was like, okay, he's big. <laughs> I'm not going to try and I'm going to try and stay as far away from this man as I can possibly be. I'm not letting him grab me, snatch me, nothing. <laughs> our, uh, our coach, our head coach, he was like, it was like we were preparing for a game, 
when we were going to you know, that joint practice. He yeah, was, that, it was that, like it was the Super Bowl for us. Well, that you know? the head coach at the time was Tommy Nagasan, right? Uh, it was it was Tommy San was the OC. That oh, he was the OC. Yeah, he was okay. the it was uh, Takano San. It was first oh, year. Okay, yeah, Tommy San okay. was there. Yeah, yeah. Tommy San, yeah, because so Tommy San was my OC for a long time. So you know, like yeah, I remember yeah, it was you guys coming in, like yeah, like you, and then it. It is crazy. I seriously swear. Like football is such a small world, right? You came in with two kids from Hawaii, mm-hmm. so and I remember, and you became good friends with them as well. Yep. Um, I what I what I wanted to get to another question to you is right. You brought yourself back. I think in the area you guys were in the area for three, two, two three, three years. years. Yeah, three years. And you brought the deers back. What is your goal for the rest of this season? What is your goal for maybe? Just not yourself, but you know, for the team and things like that. You guys have a shot, not coming back from the area into the super, and then not even just being here, but being able to compete, maybe and mm-hmm. get into that playoff spot. When I first got here, we were we it would we'd have a game way late in the schedule, but we would only practice for that team. <laughs> but we've changed our ways, which I'm happy about, you know, because you have to prepare for everyone. Like, mm-hmm. You don't want to peek over because that's how, exactly. that's how you, you have upsets or things exactly. like that, right? The Deers and stuff go, right, with their new sponsor. Mm-hmm. You guys are possibly relocating, right? Yeah. You excited about that? I mean, how, yeah. like, that, was, that was a big deal when that came out, right? Yeah, I think in terms of relocating, I think the, the goal is within 10 years. I don't know. Okay. Could be could be next year. Could be five years from now. Could mm-hmm. be. I'm I'm not sure. But yeah. um, we still like in the off season. We take trips up there and practice. Yeah, I saw. Um, yeah, you guys did that. Like yeah, that. I saw on your guys social media. Right, you guys yeah. did that back in the summertime. Right. So we'll have we have like a, a marketing people, or sometimes we'll send our captains up there for like a day and like do some stuff in the city and come back on the mm-hmm. Shinkansen. But um, I think in the future, it, when the deers do relocate there. Mm-hmm. You know, it's going to be another road trip for uh, for the future other teams in the league. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's. I mean, they got rice and and fish and snowboarding. I guess <laughs> mountains. I might come <laughs> visit you, bust my snowboard out. I've yeah. broken that thing out mm-hmm. in like. Gonna have to come up and visit you, and um, just one more thing. You know, like I I kind of want to just talk about for you. You know, we've got the Dream Bowl coming up in January, right? A big, a big step, I think, for the X League. You know, they're, yeah. they're how, are you excited for that game? And where do you see the future? You know, I know you've put a lot of effort into the Deers. You know, you've been a great representative for Americans who've come in to the X League. And, you know, are you excited for the Dream Bowl? And, you know, who knows? You, They might call your name. Who yeah, knows? I'm not and, sure. Um, and, yeah. you know, the future of football here, what, you know, I'm, share with us what I you've think- got. I think the last time the Dream Bowl happened, the Japanese football was in a different, different oh, yeah, sort of state. Different. So I think yeah. people are definitely going to be surprised mm-hmm. uh, in January oh, yeah. when that game happens. And mm-hmm. as far as like, you know, I had some teammates ask, am I going to play in the game or whatever? But me personally, like, if I don't play in the game, I'm okay with that. I think it's a great opportunity for the Japanese players mm-hmm. to, to really, you know, Test their skills yeah. and and and, and, and be ex, get the exposure that they deserve. Yeah, you know. So yeah, I'm excited for it because for me, it's not, you know. And I've for a long time, I've I've never really. For me, it's a finally, it's not it's not Japan versus the Ivy League, it's the X League versus the mm-hmm. Ivy League. Yeah, and you know, and I think all of the guys who have been here, right? I've been living here for ten years. You've mm-hmm. been here for four. We have guys in between that, right? Um, I've talked to Adi, who's going on his 10th season, yep. John Stanton on 11. You have guys in the middle. You have new rookies here. And I think it's the X League is so good, and I, I can't wait for that game because I think it's finally going to put a stamp on it, mm-hmm. that we have good quality football here. And yeah, you know, and I'm excited and just to see where, where that game can go f- from, for the future, right? Because if we go toe-to-toe, which I think we will, like you said, I, I was part of, I was very lucky to be part of the 2015 U.S. team. In that, in that World Cup game, I wasn't worried about Mexico. I wasn't worried about anybody but Japan. Yep, because you knew. You because knew. I knew how good they were. Mm-hmm. And I remember, I still remember, I, I remember 
you know, just to share with you, I, I remember we played Japan the first time. I was the, I was the captain of the defense, but we had our first defensive scout meeting. Everybody in there joking around, laughing. I grabbed a white marker board from the back and whipped it across the room and slammed it on the wall. And I remember I told everybody, this right here is how we're gonna lose to Japan if you guys act like this. I was like, these guys are no joke. Mm -hmm. You might think they're little. These guys know how to play football. Yep. And I think had I not done that, I think they would have. They, they had, they, we were close. I think we were only up by one possession at halftime. And I remember we went in at halftime and they were all like, damn. Couldn't believe it. Shocked. Yeah, they, everybody. <laughs> like the offense, especially the offense. The yeah. offense was like, damn, these guys can play. And I'm like, yeah. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I'm, you know. And I just hope, you know, with these things, and I hope you continue to do all the good that you've been doing. Um, you know, you're, you're still, you know, holding on. You're still holding it down for, for the deers, and you're doing a great job. And, I, like, I, I, I don't have enough words to say. I know how hard it is, and I know you've had your challenges. You know, you've, you've been through. You've had a, a different experience than a lot of us have in Japan, right? Going through all this stuff with your team, changing mm -hmm. sponsors, things right. like that. You've done it by yourself, pretty much. You've had one year with teammates, and then... Pretty much, yep. right? You've had one, you know, and now you have, you have some other teammates this year. I got Joe, Big Joe, Joe. Big Joe. Big Joe from, from the UK. You have Joe Martin. You two are massive next to each other. <laughs> I like, look, I, I didn't, I, you know, and I'm, I'm friends with him on Instagram, but I saw how big he was. And I was like, holy smokes. He's a big that boy. That is a big man. Yep. But no, man, just continue to just stay healthy. Just keep playing as well as you are, man. You guys are doing good. Um, Cheering for everybody now, you know. I, I hung up my cleats, and now I just I just want to see good football. I, I honestly don't care who wins it anymore. I just want to see everybody have fun, stay healthy, you know. Um, just keep on going, man. Good luck the rest of the way. Thanks, BJ, man. Appreciate you, man. Yep. Thanks for having me. <laughs> um, first, I just want to give a thank you to Bountiful Cafe here in Shinrayasu for having us. Um, this is a cafe that I probably visit maybe once or twice a week. Uh, it's a really great place, great atmosphere, as you guys can see in the videos. Um, they have great espressos, lattes, they have smoothies, um, they have seasonal menus. And if you guys are ever out in the area for Disneyland, just in, in area in general, um, I highly recommend it. And again, thank you Bountiful Cafe for having us.